Australia is the world's best location to invest in the development of new renewable energy technologies, and it is vigorously promoting growth with its renewable energy target. Australia has a long history in the use of renewable energy technologies for remote power and applications. The Australian Centre for Renewable Energy, known as ACRE, is the key point of contact for companies seeking government funding for the development of renewable energy and enabling technologies. The Australian Centre for Renewable Energy is part of our long-term strategy to develop a portfolio of renewable energy technologies to reduce Australia's greenhouse gas emissions and diversify our energy mix. Around three quarters of Australia's electricity is produced from coal. The Australian Government's primary mechanism is for diversifying our electricity generation mix by the 20% renewable energy target by 2020. Acre's role is to complement this market-based mechanism by nurturing Australia's renewable energy technology capabilities along the innovation chain from research and development through to commercialisation and deployment. Australia has a very good research and development base and the role of Acre is to build on that base. Solar is a vast yet largely untapped energy resource that is mainly being used in direct use applications such as water heating but the future generation potential is both enormous and exciting. Australia is a prime location to develop large-scale solar energy generation projects, as the continent has the highest solar radiation per square metre anywhere on Earth. Its use in Australia is projected to increase greatly, and through its solar projects, the acre investment in research, development and demonstration will be crucial in speeding the development of this key technology. Generating grid-connected electricity on a commercial scale is of huge importance. Acre has partnered with the Queensland Government coal-fired power plant to demonstrate the integration of CFLR solar thermal technology with existing steam generation systems. The Australian Pioneer technology uses the sun's energy to generate steam to boost power generation, reliably increasing its electrical output and fuel efficiency, and reducing greenhouse gas intensity. Acre funding, in conjunction with the CSIRO, is helping to build the world's largest solar tower, Brayton Cycle System, paving the way for solar power that uses the sun to heat compressed air to create electricity without the need for water. It is ideally suited to parts of the globe that have low rainfall. Geothermal is the only renewable energy source almost entirely free from CO2 emissions that can deliver base load electricity generation 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Australia has the hottest known granites on Earth and favourable geology for two geothermal technologies, enhanced geothermal systems, also known as hot fractured rock, and hot sedimentary aquifers. Both these systems can generate electricity from heat resources within the Earth's crust. Enhanced geothermal systems, also known as EGS, produce energy using heat extracted from hot granite rock by circulating water through an artificially engineered reservoir. These granites represent a massive source of renewable energy almost entirely free from carbon dioxide emissions. The hot sedimentary aquifer process brings naturally occurring hot water to the surface to transfer the heat for energy. The water is returned underground away from the source of extraction to be naturally reheated again. A framework is now in place to encourage investment into this exciting new technology. This is an exceptional opportunity to get involved at either the proof of concept or early commercial demonstration stage. Across Australia, exploration licences have already been granted and several companies have projects underway. Economic viability is the key. Queensland company Geodynamics is now planning a 25 megawatt commercial demonstration EGS plant. This facility will produce almost no emissions. Bioenergy is a renewable energy process where biomass which is organic matter from plants and algae, is both used to generate heat for electricity and industry, where it is known as bioelectricity, or it can be made into liquid fuel known as biofuel. The many potential bioenergy resources in Australia are very large and diverse. Acre is helping to support the research, development and pre-commercialisation 
of next-generation biofuel technologies through its second-generation biofuel research and development program. ACRE is funding the establishment of an Australian Biofuels Research Institute. The institute will initially gather information on developments in the international biofuels industry, consolidate and coordinate Australian research and development, and facilitate the demonstration and commercialisation of next-generation biofuels technologies in Australia. James Cook University in Townsville will play an important role in the institute. Bioenergy offers substantial potential environmental benefits, such as mitigation of climate change. Importantly, it can also increase the security of supply for transport fuel. Australia's bioenergy use is projected to increase by 60% by 2030. The oceans are a currently underdeveloped but extensive renewable energy source, and the share of ocean energy and electricity generation is projected to steadily increase. Australia has first-rate wave and tidal energy resources. These technologies show great potential and are ideal for generating low-carbon emission power. Wave energy harnesses the power of the wave motion at the surface to generate electricity. Acre is helping to accelerate the commercialisation and deployment of wave and ocean conversion technology and through the Renewable Energy Demonstration Programme is assisting the Victorian Wave Partners in the demonstration of a 19 megawatt wave energy project off the coast of Portland, Victoria. Tidal energy uses the currents beneath the ocean surface to drive power generation equipment. Australia is fortunate to have a rich abundance of renewable energy resources including solar, geothermal and ocean power. And AIC has a number of programs in place to develop them. AIC has two new programs that will be open for business in 2011-12. The Emerging Renewables Program and the Renewable Energy Venture Capital Fund. The Emerging Renewables Program is a first in its kind as it is opening to assist all forms of renewable energy and enabling technology across the innovation chain. The Australian Government recognises that it plays an important role in providing the capital finance needed to grow fledging renewable energy companies. It will do this through the Renewable Energy Venture Capital Fund. These investments will leverage private funds which in turn will help to bring emerging technologies to market. And for international investors looking to tap into the growth of renewables in Australia, Acre is the place to start. The Australian Centre for Renewable Energy.